to the world showing positive images of Africa and you know what I can't believe that I'm in Liberia you finally made it I was so scared of coming <laughs> to this country and <laughs> I am here you know if what am I scared I guess a lot of people are scared you know people were asking me are you safe why are you not uploading any video is everything all right I'm all right though just because I met a superstar uh, can, can I, no let me get a hug you know it's a year of hugs uh, no, <laughs> Africa to the world. Yeah, thank you so much. But hey, why are you so famous? I'm not famous. You're famous. You're famous? <laughs> no way. Like, everyone was like, hey, have you met her already? You need to meet her. Like, my whole email, my whole DM, everyone is talking about you. And I was like, let me go check her out. And I was like, ah, isn't it the same lady that O'Shea sent me the yeah, some we time ago? Yeah, we met O'Shea a long time ago. Long time ago. And I was like, okay, finally, I already know her. I'm going to meet her. Then I reach out to her and I'm like, okay. Yeah, and we yeah. made it happen, yeah. No, tell us, why are you so famous? You want to know. Ah, you're making me blush. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not famous, but you know, Liberia is a small country. Wow. Four, we're less than five million, so okay. we all know each other. And No, as no, you wait. <laughs> you're not just famous in Liberia, because the people who are testing me are not from Liberia. Okay. But they want to see Liberia, they all oh. see Liberia through you. That's awesome. Why is that? That's awesome. Well, I mean, I moved back. I'm a Liberian. Oh, okay. Number one, I'm a Liberian, so I moved back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been back for about three years now. When I decided to move back um, from America, oh, okay. you know, all the Americans are just baffled. Why would you leave this great life in America to go to Liberia, why, the third why, poorest country in the world? Oh, they, they, they told like you left heaven <laughs> to come to, to hell. hell. Yes. But are you sure you're in hell? Ah, uh, no, I don't think. Does this look like hell to you? <laughs> I don't know. Does this is this what hell looks like? Cause uh, I, I'll take a first class ticket uh, there. Did you miss it when you came here? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I decided to just start wow. a vlog and wow. really I had no vlogging or videography experience. Wow. Started on my cell phone and did some iMovie edits, but just trying to show my American friends wow. that we're not living in huts and there's not lions and monkeys in my front Ooh. yard. Because that's Ooh. the image that oh, we they, get they, in America. They thought you have a lion as a pet. Yeah, as a pet. So I was like, <laughs> you know, maybe I should just show them the real Liberia, the real Ooh, Africa. Wow. Wow. And then something happened where Ooh. it shifted. My audience shifted from that to people, Liberians in the diaspora, who haven't been home for 20 plus years. You know, a lot of Liberians were displaced during the war. Wow. So um, people are on programs in the States and different places where they can't even leave the country. If you leave America, you won't get access back. You know, so they're there. They haven't seen home in years. I'm the only person who's making videos and content about Ooh. what's happening right now on the ground. So I'm like, the, they don't have a choice. You guys gotta love me. I gotta be famous, right? <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. They seen the real Liberia through you. And I want to say congratulations. Thank you. Because a lot of people out there love what you do. You so they much. were telling me, what am I? You have to meet her. If you don't meet her, <laughs> don't leave Liberia. <laughs> I want to know, um, how has the experience been like since you came back? Well, I mean, again, we're here. You see this. This yeah. is this is Liberia. Everywhere exactly. you look, uh, you know, I always post pictures and my friends are like, you're really enjoying yourself. And I'm like, well, that's my country. When you're in town working, you see the Atlantic Ocean. We're surrounded by the ocean. Um, but just like any African country and Liberia, even more because of the infrastructure mm. um, challenges that we have, uh, it's, it's not an easy move, right? It's not an easy transition. I've talked about this many times on my vlog channel, the things to prepare, right. how to prepare properly to make the move back. Okay. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy anywhere. She's even been real. It's not easy. I tell you guys all, on my channel all the time, you know, it's not an easy thing, you know, if, especially if you're living in America or Europe, in the Western world where everything's uh, a convenience, right? Mm. You have Amazon, you have this, you have that. Um, I always say it's not too difficult, it's just a change and shift in your lifestyle, mm. right? Yeah. Um, but the benefits, the benefits are, are so much more and so much more fulfilling to your soul, so, wow. right? Because wow. especially somewhere like Liberia, wow. where it's such a small country, mm. me, one person with an iPhone camera was able to make such a difference that people are messaging you, Thank you. right? So they can see the potential, they can see the country. So I look at this, you know, people think that us YouTubers make so, much, and you're like way beyond me, you know? <laughs> I think he has like 300,000 subscribers. I think I have four, 
And I'm like, I'm doing really good. No, and then I look no, at his no, page no. and I'm like, oh my God, this is a real YouTuber. No. Uh, uh, you but, know what? No, wait, before I let it continue. Um, her name is Yuri? Yuri. Roida Philomena Yuri. And she's a YouTuber. <laughs> so no, I, I know that you're already enjoying the conversation, but I want you to do me a favor. Go to her YouTube channel right now. Go and subscribe before you come back again to watch the remaining video. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick comment. Commercial break. break. <laughs> Thank you. I, I want to know, 26 years in America, three years in where? Liberia. Yeah. Actually, what took you to America? The war. The war. Mm -hmm. And I know that definitely a lot of people went to various parts of the war mm -hmm. just because of the war. Exactly. You've been here three years now. Do you think that Liberians in the diaspora should come back home? Definitely. Um, Wait, if they should come back home, what are they coming to do? Anything, everything, builds Just, your country. Thank you. Because if we don't do it, especially Liberians in the diaspora, to come back, bring all the knowledge, all the experience to this country that may not have it, but we can get there. We can get it with our small population that's in the diaspora. If just a few of us come back, it'll be one more Philomena doing something else. Then I won't be the only vlogger. You know, then there'll be someone else in a different sector. We have to come back. We can't count on our, our fathers and mothers. You know, they're getting older. We are the next generation. We have to change things. We have to build our country. If no one does, we won't get there. You're talking about we, 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 we. Who are we? We are the young people. We are the ones that were displaced by war. But guess what? We made a difference. We, we were out there. We got our education. We got our experience. Now bring it back. Places like Ghana, you go to Ghana, Ghana's beautiful, Ghana's, yeah. you know, developed. You see a lot of young Ghanaians coming back. back. You even see now the year of the return. return. Yeah, exactly. African Americans wanting to come back. And the crazy thing is Liberia has a very close tie with African Americans. And they don't even know because we're so under the radar. Liberia was founded by free slaves. Exactly. And they're African Americans. African Americans, but they don't know that. But we need channels like this, you know, exposure like this to get people to come back. So if an American wants to come and visit, Liberians should definitely want to come back, invest in your country, and show this. Why not show this? Uh, now you're telling them to come back home. Yeah. I just want to know, what can they invest their money into? Well, like we've talked about, there's a huge gap in the infrastructure of Liberia, right? Since yeah. the war. So any sector you can think about, you can probably come here and make something of it, right? Wow. Uh, one of my favorites, though, is I come from a farming family. Okay. Um, and agriculture is so rich in Liberia, but so not used. We don't use our land. And Liberians and Africans, all of us, we can eat off our land. There's no need to import anything. But we, as Liberians, we import everything. Our vegetables, our fruits, our rice. And I don't know if you know Liberians, but we eat rice every meal breakfast lunch and dinner liberians in general there's a statistic we eat seven times more rice than any like, african country i feel like liberians have a lot we're of similar very close <laughs> they're our cousins they're our cousins okay. um but we eat more, more rice, rice than anybody even sierra leone wow. and we import all of our rice so agriculture there's nothing but land rich fertile land we can grow anything here mm. so farming energy you know you hear Liberians complain I think this it's a common complaint not in Ghana yeah I, I was in Ghana for two months last year I was uh, sick in Ghana and I don't remember the current going out one time Nigeria has the same problems that we have yeah. LEC um, always you know fluctuate so solar energy I mean anything you can think of tourism I have a friend who has a tourism company she moved from the diaspora as well moved wow. back home Liberian wow. girl came here she has her own tourism company. She sets up tours for things like this. So any sector, it can be from top to bottom, engineer to doctor, you know, we're all here where there's a need for it. Um, and we're looking for our people to invest back into the country. Like, you know what, you just, I, I just feel like crying, but I don't cry in front of women. So I'm not gonna <laughs> cry because when I went to Sierra Leone, I realized that most of the things, like any flashy thing that you see in Sierra Leone belongs to it doesn't belong to the people, it belongs to foreigners. Yeah. And I came in here, I'm kind of seeing it exactly similar. similar. Yeah. And uh, I'm here to tell you that I don't hate anyone, but I feel like we as Africans, 
it's time for us to claim our land mm -hmm. and develop our own countries. Definitely. So if you are in America, who do you expect to come and develop your country for you? Yes, the foreigners are here creating jobs for the people, but hey, you can create better jobs than somebody from different countries to come. And have a Liberian-owned business. My sister, <laughs> like, do you have any final message for each and everyone out there? Well, just want to thank you again. We finally linked up after many messages, many DMs. <laughs> Everybody can relax. Wode yeah. and Philomena finally yeah. met. It's okay. <laughs> Pause the alarm. But thank you for coming yeah. and shining a light on our beautiful little country. Mm -hmm. um, but the message is clear. I think he says it. I say it. Come back. We need you. We need us exactly. to invest in our country. Exactly. We are the only ones who we will rebuild our countries, you know? Exactly. Um, and yeah, follow me, continue the conversation. Let's keep the conversation going. Hopefully we'll get Wode back here I will. Um, to visit. I will. Now that he's not scared that he's gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not you know, walking like, into the middle I, of like, war. I, I said I'm gonna spend five days here. That was the plan, but I guess I'm gonna stay more than five yeah, days. You so, you're see, extending like, your trip after I, I, one day. I, I'm telling you. So, which means that they've been lying to us that they said the civil war is still going on. Exactly. I checked on Google what I saw. I was like, oh my goodness. My mom was like, my son, don't go. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> but here I am. I've extended my days. So, definitely, it's safe for you to come in here. And when you come in here, you can definitely meet her. But hey, you know, don't go beyond it. You know, I know some of you, that's the things that you do. But hey, it's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Make sure you go subscribe to your YouTube channel. Go see more of Liberia through her because I'm going back and I don't know when I'm coming back. But if you really want to see what is going on in this country, her channel is the best place for you. Thank you again. Thank you. So Thank much. you. I love uh. my. Uh... <laughs>